Hello. Today's video is a bit different. It's meme related, but not LGBT plus memes. Ooh. <laughs> hey Spuds, it's Jamie. Welcome back to another video, your first video. I don't know. Either way, welcome back to the channel. And today we are looking through a new subreddit. Actually, it's not a new subreddit for me because it's where I find a lot of like homophobic and transphobic memes, but then I stick them on videos about homophobic and transphobic memes. But today I'm looking at the subreddit as a whole and it's called the right can't meme. I just thought it might be quite fun to look into this because I've seen some of the stuff they get gets posted on there and some of the memes that are made by certain people with views that are not the same as mine. Uh, yeah, interesting. I just thought today we could take a bit of a deeper look and veer off just LGBT plus stuff. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Prager you, leftist logic, racism equals bad. That's truth. Racism is bad bad. What is the point? What the point? What? I mean, I knew Prager you were bad and do not post the most sensible things, but this just... wow. <laughs> Impeach the socialist. Get a Brian, you morons. <laughs> is this real? Get a Brian. Go get yourself a Brian. We all need a Brian. Job applicants, please note, we do not hire liberals. This is not because we disagree with their political views. It is because working here requires superior reasoning, logic, and reading comprehension skills. And in our experience, liberals are deficient in those areas. We've found that they make decisions based on their emotions, not logic. This would be very detrimental to our business. We regret any inconvenience this may cause. <laughs> Is this because they don't have Brian's? Oh, um... Hello, just popping in to talk to you about today's wonderful video sponsor, Raycon. On this channel, you know I love Raycon. I'm very attached to my own pair. They are with me through a lot of things in my life. Raycon are earbuds that start at half the price of other premium audio brands, but sound just as good. They really do sound very good. <laughs> Recently, I've been fully getting back into going into the gym, working out multiple times a week, and Raycons get me through the sessions because I'm very rusty after two years and I need some music to pull me through. Raycons come with a selection of gel tips for comfort and stability in your ear holes and they do not stick out of your ears like other earbuds. So if you want a great little pair of earbuds that have a 32 hour battery life and a 45 day happiness guarantee, then click the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com forward slash jammy dodger and get 15% off your purchase. How to trigger an entire neighborhood. A giant sheep. 99.8% survival rate with what I presume is meant to be a mask on its face. Somebody paid for this and thought that they did a thing. I'd rather be called a sheep and keep other people safe and be a respectful human in the midst of a pandemic that can kill the most vulnerable and also give a lot of people long-term serious issues with their health than not wear a mask and just not care about the safety of others and myself. 99.8% survival rate, but it's not the survival rate among the elderly or immunocompromised people or other vulnerable groups who really need to be respected and thought of in this situation. So congratulations on spending your money on something that just makes you look like a massive turd. <laughs> Spelling lesson. The last four letters in American. I can. The last four letters in Republican. I can. The last four letters in Democrats. Rats. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I've always had something like, oh yeah, Republican beliefs are based on logic and facts. And this is literally just like, Oh look, I found some words within another word. Ooh, <laughs> it means nothing. Honestly, if this is the argument against Democrats that some Republicans have, then, um, well, it's not very strong, is it? God bows down to President Donald Trump, declares he is perfect. Trump 2020. When did this happen? Is this factual? Is there logic behind it? Is there video evidence? Yes, I I'm sure God declared that Trump is perfect and then let him lose the election. <laughs> Wouldn't it be epic if Donald Trump came back to run in 2024 looking like this? Why specifically looking like this? If, if someone believes it would be epic for Trump to run again in 2024, why with the beard? What, does, what significance does the beard have? My answer to the question is no. When everyone finds out that 38,000 people die each year from automobiles, they, they put, they put, 
face masks on cars. They they missed one. They missed quite a lot. Oh, that was. They missed many. I feel like they could have been more thorough in their photoshopping. But also, that is an astounding lack of logic. There are things already that are, are safe. Just like masks increase safety, but are not a guarantee. Things in cars like seat belts and speed limits increase safety, but don't guarantee it. This is what Tesla, I don't like saying it, looks like no mandates. I think they meant tyranny. I think they meant tyranny and they missed off a Y. And that probably helps as well if you're not 100% sure what the T-slur is. Wow. Oh, just the, just the connotations of missing off that one very important letter completely changes the meaning of the sign. Andrew, come upstairs for dinner right now. Mum, I'm busy right now downvoting everything in R conservative. Who comes upstairs for dinner? Oh, in the basement. Okay, got it. We don't really have basements in the UK. I mean, equally, you could say somebody sat and took the time to make this to make up the potentiality that somebody who was not conservative was downvoting everything on a conservative subreddit. Who is the person guaranteed to be wasting their time? Whoever made this meme <laughs> about a made up person who's potentially doing this, but not definitely. <laughs> make America great forever. Not just again, forever. I mean, oh, <gasps> Trump 2016, Trump 2020. I mean, that didn't happen, so already the chain in forever is broken. Then literally just successions of Trumps, all winning two terms each. That doesn't seem unlikely, does it? Right up until 2052, they've got a very short idea of what forever is. Biden, Harris, sending people to give vaccinations. Cool, they're saving lives. The point? But yeah, I don't think anybody's arriving at anybody's door with a four foot syringe that's not even filled with anything. So that wouldn't be very effective. Dems, all you need to do is follow the science. The science. I mean, isn't that technically just whoever made this admitting that they don't understand science? The science is too complex for them. Because if you sat down and you looked at that and you studied it and you took some thought over it, you would understand how that works. So somebody's literally just admitted they don't get science. Which explains a lot. That really does explain a great deal of many things. <laughs> and is probably the biggest cell phone so far. Has anyone else noticed the word pandemic is just dem surrounded by panic? Well done. I mean, it's like the I can is at the end of American and Republican thing again. It's, it's just, your only point is coincidental letters. Also, I feel like having s slight panic and concern and worry over a pandemic is the correct response. Not giving a shit about it and just pretending like life is normal is not the correct response. So it could be interpreted many different ways. Climate change is bad. I hate white people. How did that leap get made? How? That is an impossible connect jump to make. I don't. People who think climate change is bad, apparently underneath that just hate white people. Is there a reason for some people thinking that there is a connection between these two things? Because I am baffled. If the vaccine is so great and helpful, why is it so hard to get us to take it? No, just take the track. I mean vaccine. Oh, oh, is this like a whole like microchip tracker trace thing? thing, conspiracy about the vaccine. Because yes, a vaccine like that is really the easiest way to get something like that into the population. Where do you get your water from? Do you have a mobile phone? I mean, like, come on. This is all said by people who update their Facebook statuses to say they're at the supermarket or Brenda's house. It's not that the majority are silent, it's that the media are silent about the majority. Oh, are they now? It's always the least oppressed who think they're the most silenced. Like the amount of times I've seen somebody airing transphobic views and saying that their concerns are being silenced and they never get an opportunity to speak about it. And where they are saying it is on national news or in a national newspaper, like just somewhere that reaches a lot of people and does definitely not fall under the category of the person in question being silenced because of their views. <laughs> Remember to get vaccinated or a vaccinated person might get sick from the virus they got vaccinated against because you're not vaccinated. Right, let's take that slower. Remember to get vaccinated or a vaccinated person might get sick from the virus they got vaccinated against because you're not vaccinated. Nobody claimed that the vaccines were 100%. Nobody claimed that you wouldn't be able to catch the virus if you were vaccinated. It's just that they greatly and genuinely greatly reduce the risk of critical illness and death from COVID. 
and if not enough people get vaccinated, it will keep circulating in the population more than it needs to, and causing more harm than it needs to. And that's it for our first dive into the subreddit of the right count meme. What did we think? Think about giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing if you want to, but no pressure. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.